or whilst used to grow really big pumpkins. Have you ever thought of having your photo taken with a really big pumpkin? This photo was taken in 1917 by local photographer Helena Warren. Yes, big orange pumpkins. Some of these pumpkins even went to the August show and won prizes for the biggest pumpkin. Some of the pumpkins were hollowed out and used as cribs for small babies. Look at this baby asleep inside her pumpkin. Is this for real or is this photo a funny joke? What do you think? Some of these big pumpkins became pumpkin boats. This one is the HMAS Centenary 1934. 1934 is the date when this photo was taken by Helena Warren. Where are these twin girls sailing to, I wonder? How many people can fit inside a pumpkin boat, I wonder? Two? Three, four, or five, six, surely not, seven, and a doll as well. Are you serious? The HMA's Victor pumpkin boat must have been really, really big. Mum as well. Even a whole family inside a pumpkin boat. Some pumpkin boats needed a bit of a push occasionally. Otherwise, who's doing the rowing? And some needed a bit of a pull. Some were so big that they could hold big people too, not just babies and children. Just in case you thought I was not telling you the whole truth about August's big pumpkins, look at this photo. A paddock full of big pumpkins. So why were these big pumpkins growing? Who or what ate them? Pigs. This is a paddock full of pigs and pumpkins. What a feast for a pig. When the pigs were big enough, they were rounded up and driven to Bairnsdale. This took five days. Pigs are not that easy to drive, but they will follow food anywhere. Maize was dribbled out in front of the herd from a wagon and the pigs followed. Yes, the big pumpkins were for real. But how about this photo of big maize cobs? Is this photo for real? Of course not. This is a good example of Helena Warren's trick photography.